He's dancing? Yeah, it's just basically like dancing. So if it's not busy, it's gonna do the, these dances. And first you say, which one do you like more? This is Elon, Elon Musk. Ah, great. Yeah. How do you meet him? The sound is okay. On camera. Nice. Yeah. Ребята, сегодня у нас выпуск с Генри, супер крутым предпринимателем. Он сделал вот эту классную компанию Coffee X. Это роботы, которые делают кофе. Все, Сан-Франциско говорит про его стартап. У него еще очень крутая машина, Mercedes C63 AMG, на которой я как раз сделал тест-драйв. Одна из лучших машин, на которой я ездил в 2018 году. Так что сейчас будет интервью с ним и очень крутой эксперимент. Так что продолжайте смотреть. Погнали. Привет. Let's go. So my first question is, if you have unlimited budget, what three cars would you buy? Well, I haven't really like thought too much about cars recently, but so busy working. Um, well, I think... I definitely want a Tesla. I'm like the biggest Tesla fan that okay. doesn't own a Tesla. Probably like a McLaren. Which one? P1? Uh, or Senna? What's the, what's or the new one that's like... Senna limited edition. It's like coolest yeah. version of the yeah. 720S. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> and the um, third one? You Ours probably so keep long, your 63, but... right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I did this the, is a really um, cool car. I actually car. did the AMG Driving Academy because when you get an oh, AMG, wow. they, they let you do it for free. Great. You have to drive like all the MG cars on the race track. I need to buy MG as <laughs> soon as possible. It's really fun, yeah. yeah. So you drove uh, AMG GT or something like that? Yeah, they have the, the GTR, the nice. GTS, nice. Um, the SL, which is boring old, you know, <laughs> old how do you like car. How do you like the GTR? It's great. It's It feels very like nimble on the track. And uh, next question is, you're living in San Francisco, right? So how much uh, money do you need for comfortable life? Well, I live in Sausalito, uh, ah. so the rent is a little bit cheaper. Um, mm -hmm. My rent, I think, is like twenty-seven hundred a month, and mm -hmm. it, it's for a loft, which is you know like pretty mm -hmm. nice, pretty comfortable. It's a good view, probably in Sausalito. Yeah, it's a it's a really nice view, and in San Francisco, I think like twenty-seven hundred, like you can barely get a really yeah. tiny studio. Thunderloin, uh, Thunder Hill, how it's called? Tenderloin. Tenderloin, yeah. <laughs> oh, Tenderloin, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you have one billion, how will you spend it? Uh, well, I'd definitely put it in, into Cafe X, you know, we'd, we'd love to just, absolutely, yeah, like Great. there's nothing else I'm doing right now, so build our factory and build like, you know, thousands of our robotic coffee bars. Mm -hmm. How did you come up with this idea actually, with Cafe X? Uh, I was waiting in line for coffee at uh, Singapore Changi Airport, I mean, that's like known to be like the best airport in the world. Um, but their coffee is very slow, so mm -hmm. you just like observe the, the baristas kind of moving cups and pushing buttons on machines. And mm -hmm. I thought, you know, this is a very low productivity, highly repetitive, kind of boring job. Mm -hmm. um, so I thought it'd be nice to have a robot to do that. Um, and then instead of having, like basically I think that labor in the future, you know, should be more productive. And robots will do these boring repetitive things and humans will do more kind of things that humans are good at. So for example, Like if you go into a nice retail store, like an Apple store, um, or like a nice car dealership, you know, the people there are, you know, educating you about the product, you know, telling you about all the different features, letting you kind of try different things. And so that's, that's how we use our staff. And so if you look at our machine over there, we have a, a coffee bar specialist that's there to like talk with customers, uh, answer any questions you have, explain the menu, but they don't like stand behind the counter and move cups around all day. How did you find the first people, in your very first people in your team? Well, I co-founded the company with um, uh, one of my neighbors from high school. Mm -hmm. grew, uh, I grew up in Hong Kong, um, mm -hmm. and so you know, he was my neighbor in Hong Kong. His family business is in manufacturing, so I was able mm -hmm. to basically, he was able to help us you know, get prototypes built. Um, mm -hmm. So really critical in, in those early stages to prove out that we can build something and that people like the product and then so raise money from there. I dropped out of college. I sold my sold my car in college mm -hmm. and then had some support from uh, friends and family uh, and also from the co-founders, friends and family. Mm -hmm. In Hong Kong, it's really hard to like raise money from mm -hmm. like angel investors or seed stage investors because mm -hmm. that kind of ecosystem doesn't exist. So it's mainly just friends and family. We raised like a little less than a million dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we um, brought the product to the U.S. Uh, we showed it to a really famous angel investor. His name is Jason Calacanis. Mm -hmm. 
he initially invested in the company and then he basically introduced us to all these really great VCs. Mm, wow. And from there we were able to you know raise the, the 12 million plus that we've raised today. Ah, uh, 12 million plus. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Cool, man. Yeah. Also when I was in Hong Kong, I went to like an American school, so like, you know, it's the American culture is like pretty normal for me. Would you ever go back? What do you think? Um, I can't really because, you know, the company is here. Because everything is here? Yeah. yeah. Um, but, uh, so you yeah, like I it would, here? Yeah, I like it, yeah. definitely. Because yeah. I'm always so sad when I leave the Bay Area, I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm leaving all the innovation behind. <laughs> right. Yeah. And also just like, Hong Kong is super different from the U.S. is very tiny, right? Like, I've also lived in Singapore. Mm -hmm. um, it just feels very different because in the U.S., like you literally can just jump in your car and go, like, you know, anywhere. And it's, yeah. it's, it's fun to like have that freedom. Yeah, that's uh, true. Yeah. Do you want to try our matcha green tea, the nitro yeah. one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's do matcha. So over here we have uh, a, a sort of like a beer tap in the back. So it's serving nitrogen infused cold brew coffee and matcha green tea. Oh, wow. So it's a different style of what we have over there. Over cold there it's like also cool. can I try the cold brew? Yeah, yeah, that's the one like I was gonna get for you. Coffee kombucha. Yeah, kind yeah, of. We can actually serve it. kombucha as well. There's the the nitro matcha green tea. Nice. So it's a cold brew uh, matcha, green right? Tea, yeah. And then uh, we infuse it with nitrogen to give it a, like a creamy. Um, Texture. Uh, looks like beer, but it's not. It's like elderflower. Do you know elderflower? Yeah. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> Two robots. <laughs> <laughs> spent this first million to build the prototype, right? And right now you're producing the robots in uh, Hong Kong or here or how it works? Sure. Um, so, so after we raised the, the money from like Silicon Valley investors, we actually have the whole company here now. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have an office in San Francisco. We do all of our hardware engineering, software engineering. We build the machine there. Our office is big enough for us to probably build like five or six machines at a time. Um, so for the next 12 months, that's good enough, that's big enough for us. Um, but uh, you know, once we do our next fundraising round, we'll be looking at you know, leasing out a much bigger space to kind of build a small factory. So you can build uh, five, five or six uh, robots per month or per uh, year? Yeah, at or? a time uh, in our current office. How long does it take? Yeah, how long does it take um, to build a robot? Depends on how big the space is, but for one machine, probably like less than a week. Great! Yeah. Wow, this is awesome. Yeah. When you raised the first million, you have basically only idea and uh, the guy who can deliver it, right? So that's it. Yeah, we had some some software engineers and some mm -hmm. mechanical engineers have the mock-ups, the design, and you know, the and CAD mm -hmm. drawings. And how many people do you have now in the team? Uh, we have 29, just under 30, almost 30 people. That's great. Yeah. How do you negotiate with the San Francisco government to put uh, like a fix here? Oh yeah. It, it was difficult or it's, it's easy process? Yeah, it's on the sidewalk, but this property is actually part of this building behind us, uh -huh. uh, one, one Bush Street. Uh -huh. um, so we're basically treated as an amenity for uh -huh. uh, this building behind us. Uh -huh. um, so you know, that's, they're the landlord. It's, it's not really the city's property. But this line here is kind of like where the, where the property line is. In future, what do you think? Will you work with franchisee or something like that, or you'll do it on your own? Yeah, we get a lot of emails mm -hmm. like of people who want to franchise or license. Um, so we uh, we are we are definitely open to it, uh, like licensing outside the U.S. and maybe franchising in the U.S. Mm -hmm. uh, but right now we're still like iterating on the product, um, so probably we won't be doing any franchising for at least another year. And how long does it take to, to, to do the break even or something like that? That really depends on Vacation. how much our machine costs mm -hmm. and how many drinks we sell a day. Mm -hmm. One off prototype, so it's expensive. Mm -hmm. um, but I think our long term goal is we'd be able to manufacture these machines at scale mm -hmm. at somewhere around $50,000. Um, and uh, they would generate $1,000 to $2,000 a day in sales. So that would be a really good payback period. Once cool. we build these in like a factory at scale. Right 
now I want to do one interesting experiment. I want to uh, take Cape coffee from uh, Starbucks. Yeah. I just buy the, bought it. <laughs> okay. And uh, your coffee, and we will try it. Sure. Uh, and figure what out did you, which what, what drink better. did you get? Americano. 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 Okay. I need Americano. From Got it. Let's do it. Yeah. yeah. So this is our Android app. Basically, we have like three locations. Select one bush. And then we have the espresso drinks here. You can also order like food. Um, Americano. And then we have three different beans here, so I'm not sure which one. Which one do you want to try? Two Americanos with different coffee beans. Alright. Are you proud? Like, look at all of the people. Yes. Yeah. What do you feel? Guys, see how many people are here. And like everyone is taking pictures yeah, so and they don't even realize that this is the guy who created it. <laughs> it is, it's nice to see. Yeah, we have a lot, of, a lot of happy customers and a lot of repeat customers. That's awesome. So my name's there on the screen. Maybe it's hard to see on camera, but... Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Gullwing doors, basically. Uh, they're more like the Mercedes, you know, Gullwing doors. Because it's single hinge, not double hinge. But, I mean, the purpose of this is so you can, like, reach all the way inside and clean the countertop and replace all the supplies really easily. So, it's purely functional, but also looks pretty cool. <laughs> this machine was designed by the designers who uh, created the Beats by Dre headphones. Oh, wow. And also the square register that, like, all the cafes have that have the iPad inside. Um, Great. Yeah. Can you explain? Is this the dance? He's dancing. He's dancing yeah, it's just basically like dancing. So if it's not busy, it's gonna do the, these dances, and they can also use the sensor on the robot to go and check the beam levels. Oh. Um, in the future, we'll add, we'll integrate like a little camera onto the gripper, and then we'll be able to, yeah, can like take a selfie with the customers or use the camera for a more kind of computer vision thing, so we can like scan the different components inside. So uh, once the drink is done, they'll wait on the shelf here for the customer to arrive. Um, and then if you go into your app, we'll give you a pickup code. <laughs> test test for, for you. Okay, let's do it. That one is the single origin from Ethiopia. So it kind of smells like blueberries. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, this one is uh, the seasonal blend from Ritual. Honest comparison. Blind. So one is Starbucks and the one yeah, is one our... Yeah, one is uh, Coffee X, yeah. Our, our Americano, okay. <laughs> okay. And first you say which one do you like more and after that try to... He looks confused. <laughs> Actually, it's very obvious to me that this one on the right is ours because it's a much brighter, kind of uh, lighter roasted coffee. And then specifically, this one is our, is our single origin Ethiopian coffee from Equator. And then this one's Starbucks. She's so professional. <laughs> Are you a coffee lover? Uh, I've Are become you? one. How do you, how do you think? <laughs> okay, my English is not so perfect. I'm, I'm the own owner of the language company. So yeah, it's not the rule, yeah. <laughs> Starbucks basically has like one uh, one style of coffee, which is like a very dark roasted coffee. Mm -hmm. Some people really like that actually, and some people like a more lighter roasted coffee. Mm -hmm. And so it's, you know, it really depends like which one you prefer personally. I personally like a lighter roasted coffee, mm -hmm. but the Starbucks like dark roast is also like, obviously a lot of people like it. That's why mm -hmm. people go to Starbucks. Uh, for Cafe X, what we try to do is offer different coffee beans that all have different flavors. So if you like a lighter roasted coffee, we have this, the Ethiopian single origin. But if you like something that's like Starbucks, we also have this as well. So you, so can you just go choose. For, uh, for, for this one or what do you like more? Yeah, I, I always go for like the lighter roasted coffee. Right. Um, but uh, if, also like if you like to add milk and add like sugar and syrup and all these things, mm -hmm. a darker roasted coffee works better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Okay, now it's my turn. <laughs> I should say that I'm like absolutely uh, zero, not have zero knowledge in coffee industry. So I'm yeah, not he like, drink it at all. yeah, yeah, I, I drink like that. water almost. <laughs> yeah, so, but I'll try. <laughs> Me neither. I like this one more because it's sour. And this is my Okay, let mild. me just double check. <laughs> I like this one more. I think this is Cafe X. This is... Yeah? 
Mm. Okay, sorry. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. I yeah, mean, but that, I, yeah, this one is yeah. definitely has more like uh, smell and flavor. Yeah, but yeah, I just uh, don't like the sour taste. So that's fine. Yeah. But you have a different. We have a dark one that's similar to Starbucks yeah. too. Okay, yeah, right, now, Marina, it's, it's your turn. Yeah. yeah. interesting. Definitely this one. Oh, wow. This is yours, right? So, let me check. Because it has a lot of flavor. This is like when you... Like water, right? It's like water with some flavor of coffee. And yeah. This is real coffee. Yeah, this was ours. Because yeah. it's a lighter color. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. guys, conclusion. If you Who's really... the winner? Two one to Coffee X. And if you really coffee lover, you definitely go for Coffee X. If but you like, just like no. water like me, you probably go to Starbucks. <laughs> we should put this robot in our uh, apartment, no, right? Yeah. In our kitchen. Yeah. Is it possible, Henry? Um, yeah. It depends if your elevator can fit a fork. <laughs> <laughs>now it's the last part of our interview it's blitz so i will ask you simple questions and you pick okay uh, yeah so mercedes or porsche uh, mercedes nice ios or android ios but now i'm using android <laughs> to Bezos, test the app yeah. Bezos or musk musk why um of the two i've met one of them <laughs> That's oh elon. really yeah oh, cool. uh, musk or Bezos? elon elon musk ah, great yeah. how do you meet him He's friends with a lot of our investors, so like I just go to some things that oh. our investors organize and sometimes he's there. So. Great. Yeah. Do you think that he's a better entrepreneur than uh, Ben, right? Uh, no, well, I mean, both, all, both of them make amazing, you know, have amazing companies. I'm just, you know, I like cars and he likes yeah. cars. So. Cool. Yeah. Facebook or Google? Google. Nice. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Nice. San Francisco or New York? San Francisco. Uh, when you will meet Elon Musk next time, what will you say to him? Uh, thank you for making a, making a flamethrower. Oh, not a flamethrower. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Thank you so much. It was, yeah. it was Henry, the thank founder you. of CafeX. Super cool company. Henry just said that his investor invited him to dinner. And on that dinner was Musk. Другие среди крутые чуваки. То есть видите, как реально в долине самая основная ценность это люди, с которыми ты общаешься. То есть, ну, представляете, как это круто, когда вас окружают такие крутые, креативные, умные ребята. Для вас я поговорил с Генри и договорился об очень крутой штуке. Напишите в комментариях к видео вашу стартап-идею. Он выберет самую крутую. Я сделаю анонс в своем инстаграме. Вот мой инстаграм. И объявлю победителя. Он напишет победителю в Facebook или в Instagram. На 10-15 минут запишет конкретный экшен план и фидбэк по этой идее. То есть порядок действий, которые он бы делал по этой идее. И вообще мнение об этой идее. Так что от такого человека, который сделал такую крутую компанию в долине, о которой все тут говорят, быстро развивается. Это очень круто, это очень ценно, ребят. Так что я надеюсь, что вам это поможет. Пишите в комментариях. Ну а я с вами увижусь в следующем видео. Спасибо, что смотрели. Ставьте лайки, подписывайтесь. Подписывайтесь в Инстаграм, чтобы не, запу... не пропустить анонс результатов. А я погнал дальше работать, тренироваться. До встречи.